Nice. Great work. Complex boxing combination on the mitts. Great combination right here. I'm going to give you four phases. It's 16 punches total. Pretty complex, but we're going to break it down for you right now. So we're going to start with a one-two lead hook, right? So real simple to start. One-two one, two lead hook. From there, I'm throwing my right, and then she's going to slip my left hook after that. There's phase one. So just to repeat the start. One-two lead hook, slip in, and then roll under the hook, okay? So we're starting with three punches, and then she's defending my right hand left hook after that. So one, two, hook, slip and roll. Right? And one more time, one, two, lead hook, slip, roll. There, good, okay? So that's phase one. Now, we're gonna go into phase two. So after that roll, we're staying low, right? Now we're just gonna build some hand speed, shoe shine in boxing. So three uppercuts, starting with the backhand. She's rolled to the right side, three uppercuts, hook cross and finishing on the block of the hook from there. Boom, catch that hook. Notice how phase one and two so far have finished on defense, right? Always good to finish on defense. Just tells your boxer or your client the work's not done once the finishes, the punches are done, right? It's still gotta be switched on for defense. So it's a recap on phase two. After that roll from phase one, we're starting with three uppercuts, right, left, right, hook cross, and then finishing on that block, okay? She's blocking with that right glove. So we've rolled from phase one, three uppercuts, hook two, and then the block, okay? So there's phase two, finishing on the block. So let's build it up from there now. So we've got, let's put phase one and phase two together. So phase one, one, two, lead hook, slip and roll, three uppercuts, hook two, block, okay? And again, one, two, hook, slip, roll, phase one, phase two, finishing on the block, all right? So with these um, short inside parts of this combination, we can keep everything nice and short and just work the hand speed, right? The one, two lead hook, it sets a good tone, right? And then from there, once we're in close, right here, we're just doing those short little fast punches and blocking inside. So it's more the inside work and the hand speed development that we're working on on phase two. All right, so the start of phase three, we finished on phase two on the block, right? Now from phase three, we're gonna develop that lead hook. We're gonna throw a lot of hooks from here. So she's caught the hook on the back of the glove. I'm gonna pull this mitt away. We're gonna start with the lead hook, add the cross, right? So two counter punches off that block. And then from there, we're gonna go to the body shot, lead hook to the body. We're gonna double up that hook to the head. We're gonna add a cross and then finish on the hook as well. All right, so after the block, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six punches all off that block. Full on attack, right? And it's great for, we're developing body shots, head shots, so adjusting that height, Great for developing that core and lower body in the, in the, in the cycle. Also great for building up the, the lead hook as well. All right, so just to recap on phase three, we finished phase two with the block, and then from there we're going hook cross, body shot, head shot, cross hook, okay? So a lot of lead hooks, six punches from there. So just let's dr uh, drill phase three real quick. So from the block, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So we're up to phase three now. So let's go from the top building it up. So phase one, we did one, two, hook, slip, roll. Phase two, we went into three uppercuts, hook, cross, block, right? Now for phase three, we've got those six counter punches, hook, cross, body, hook, cross, hook, okay? And the way I like to break down that phase three, just real quick, just to kind of make it a little bit easier for you, is hook, cross, body, and then hook, cross, hook. Bam, bam, bam. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to explain it in stages like that for your boxers to understand. So we've got three phases now. This is building up nicely. We're gonna go into phase four. Okay, so after we've finished on that hook, we're going back to where we started at the beginning of the combination. Remember the start of the combination finished on the hook and we went into the slip of the right hand and the roll. So we're gonna do the same thing again. So we're slipping that right off that hook. Always a good defensive reaction off the lead hook. This time, instead of rolling and staying in place, we're gonna roll out. So she's gonna step with that roll get under that hook and change the angle, right? So then from there, she's just gonna finish off with a double jab, bam, bam, just to keep that space. She's made the space with the rollout, now she's gonna attack with that double jab coming forward, all right? So just a good way to finish off the combination. All right, so just to recap on phase four, we finished phase three with the hook, she's gonna slip the right hand and roll out, step out. I'm gonna create that space and be in front of her ready to catch that double jab, push them back from there, okay? So there's your four phases of the combination, all the combinations and defense put together. 
Before I show you how to stitch it all together as one combination, I just want to remind you, like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. That way you're going to get notified of the new videos each week. All right, so let's get to it. Let's try and put it all together. So step by step first, and then we'll try and put it together with a little bit of intensity and try and show you a, real, a more realistic version. So one, two, hook, slip, roll. Three uppercuts, hook two. Block. Boom, 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 boom. Roll and then double jab, bam, bam, to finish, okay? So there's the four phases all, phases all put together. Once your box has got it and you've understand it and you've got that chemistry and you've developed that rhythm, then you can start to add the intensity and really try and push the speed. And that's the biggest benefit, I think, of these complex combos and cycle uh, flows like this, is it really gets the brain sharp, it gets the hand speed, you've got defense in there, and it just really builds the chemistry with the people you're working with, it only puts your value up as a coach, makes your boxes feel really good. If you're a boxer yourself, you'll know from doing these the benefits, how difficult they are when you've got to put them together with a little bit of speed and intensity as well. It really makes you work. So now we're going to try with a little bit of speed and intensity. Let's see how it looks when we stitch it all together. Go. There. Nice. So one more time through. Nice and sharp. Ready? Developing that rhythm. Go. There. Nice. Great work. So there you have it guys, 16 punches all together, slips, rolls, footwork in there as well. Four parts to that. If you love this combination, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see a combination breakdown on the next video, leave a comment below, let me know what you want to see. Love breaking these down. Thanks for watching this video. Go try it out. Let me know how it goes.